Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Season of the Dawn. Today we'll be going over the recovering of the past quest from Osiris in the Season of Dawn DLC slash season. Now this is for the Perfect Paradox Shotgun, so spoilers, but we're going to get right into it. So what you need to do is you need to kill three bosses. This is going to be rapid fire. Go to the Break Tech Futurescape and load up the Escalation Protocol or any public event that's there. The reason we want to do this is we want to kill the bosses. The bosses are the only ones that unfortunately drop the energy patterns that we need. We need to kill three of them. Because of the fact that Escalation Protocols can get players together really, really fast, and because of the, it's way easier than, than the Menagerie, you can also do that if you wish. But the bosses in this have lower health, and you don't really have to do too much compared to the Menagerie. EDZ, I tried going into the EDZ, sorry, and into the bottom of the church and killing the same Fallen I normally would in the Lost Sector. Lost Sector bosses do not count, so they need to be actual bosses. The reason I chose the Escalation Protocol is because it was the easiest thing at my disposal. Some people do not have the Season of Opulence, so I decided, you know what, they probably have Warmind. So this is the easiest for people who have Warmind. You can choose to do the Menagerie, like I said, but those bosses may not count as the Menagerie is kind of like a small public event and the bosses are very minuscule when they do spawn. They're more like really big elites. So once you kill the major, well, three majors, or sorry, bosses in the Escalation Protocols, that should take you no longer than 10 to 15 minutes. Easy, easy peasy you will get the next part of the quest, which then requires us to go back to Osiris and speak with him. A lot of these quests will have us going back to Osiris to speak with him, so just be prepared to jump from Venus to, sorry, from Mercury to wherever. The next step of the quest requires us to get shotgun and melee kills. The shotgun and melee kills, I will show you guys the best spot to do that. A timely discovery, he talks about how, you know, the weapon is all over the place. Blah, 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 blah. But now we need to go get 100 shotgun kills and 25 melee kills. Sorry, I was choking there for a second. Once you have the next part of the quest step, so for 100, you need 100 shoddy kills and 25 melee kills. It says melee ability. That is not the case. What I did is I went into the Braytech Futurescape again, loaded that up, and then we're going to do the Lost Sector in the top left, the Core Terminus. The loadout that I used for this was you can use any shotgun, but I used the Iklos, and then the tractor cannon is a heavy. I also put on an empty mod socket and then put on a special finisher because then when I, you know, do a finisher, I can get special ammo. That way I never ran out. This actually was very obsolete, but simply run through the lost sector as you normally would, kill the ads, you know, the boss, what have you, and just keep getting melee kills and shotgun kills. And then eventually, once you get 100 of those and 25 melee kills, again, they don't have to be ability kills, or once you clear the lost sector, Sector, simply load up the map and then reset the lost sector it's as easy as that once you reset the lost sector just rinse and repeat until you're done it should only take you two maybe three runs about 52 kills is what you get with shotgun kills and then you may need to do a separate one for melee kills which melee kills you can do anywhere this is just a place that i found to be the best because the ads are all to yourself so once you do that we need to go back to osiris or not osiris we need to go do the pyramidian the Pyramidian obviously is on IO, simply load up IO in the destination zone, go to IO and then load up the Pyramidian strike. I had a little bit of trouble finding it because honestly I can't remember the last time I did the Pyramidian. And then we need to do five strikes, gambit or crucible matches. While this isn't too difficult, this can be very time consuming and I was trying to figure out the best way to do this. You can either do crucible, which crucible matches take about 10 minutes, but some people don't like crucible. You can do rumble, those go by quick, but if you want to get other stuff done as well, I would recommend doing what I did. Originally I had loaded up Zol of a thousand voices. Zol helped me a lot, get some kills for my si the sidearm quest etc etc but unfortunately i was like i don't really want to keep doing zol because the strike while killing all the ads is very long it's not too effective at completing anything as you guys can see on screen you know you got to kill the various ads that zol spawns and unfortunately you can't one shot him or wipe him as a boss so i was just like what is a better strike this is where the curse of osiris dlc actually came in handy what you want to do is you want to load up the Tree of Probabilities. The reason why you want to load up this particular strike is you can actually run through the strike relatively easy, miss all the ads, don't even bother touching them, and complete it with ease. 
as you guys can see I'm just dashing through everything the spawns will always be random as you know the infinite forest the way that Bungie structured it it is very random so do this and you can complete the strike the fastest time that I ever did this was approximately 8 minutes and 52 seconds that was during the nightfall so what you can do is since that's the nightfall this week as well you can load that strike up slap on momentum and just run all the way to the very end to kill the Valus. Like I said, guys, this is up to interpretation if you're a PvE player like me and don't really want to play Crucible. Not that I don't mind Crucible, I actually love Crucible now. I used to hate it back in the day. And, you know, I'm killing all the ads for the sidearm. Watch out for a video, I will show you guys the fastest way of getting sidearm kills for the pinnacle weapon this season. Not, It's not a good gun, by the way. So if you want to waste your time in getting that for the title, do what I'm doing, then yes. So basically what you want to do, like I said, is just go through the entire strike. It's just easier to do than Zol. You know, there's not that many moving parts to this strike. You can just simply breeze through all of it. And then once you get to the boss, like I said, simply mow down the boss with whatever guns you have. I was trying the Xenophage on him. Xenophage is actually not too bad of a machine gun. Unfortunately, it's not exactly a boss killer like I thought it would be. It's more so fitted for majors and, you know, big groups of ads because it does a little bit of AoE damage. But like I said, guys, once you complete the Pyramidian Strike and then five Strikes, Gambit, or Crucible matches, you will then be rewarded with the thing to go talk to Osiris. This is the last part of the quest. Very tedious. Grab a fire team. It's 100% easier. And then what we do is we return to Mercury and turn in the quest to get our perfect Paradox. The gun is relatively the same as it was in the Curse of Osiris DLC. Unfortunately, that's it for this mission, and that's it for this guide. Do me a favor, guys. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. I'm posting daily Destiny content. Hit the notification box. I'm posting daily Destiny content like I just said, and I'm repeating myself. Like the video. Comment down below what you liked about the guide, what you didn't like about the guide. Do you like the par Perfect Paradox? Do you like the season? Do you like the DLC? Tell me something down below. Do me a favor, guys. Have a great day, and peace out.